Welcome back to another video. Today, instead of uploading a vlog, I thought I would upload a baking video of making Anzac cookies, biscuits, whatever you want to call them. Um, because today is Anzac day, and that doesn't mean you have Anzac biscuits. Um, but I really wanted to make these yesterday, and I was just so tired. So I'm making them today. I'm going to put this video up tonight, so it's going to go up on Anzac day for anyone who still wants to make them. Um, in terms of recipe, I don't know which recipe I'm going to use yet. I did Google some and we have the ingredients, but I had it on my phone and my phone is dead. So I'm going to have to, I don't know if you can see my laptop, quickly Google a recipe. And yeah, I thought it'd be fun for you guys to follow along. Um, whichever recipe I do end up using, I will link it down below. This is definitely not my own recipe. I do not know how to come up with <laughs> recipes or baking. So yes, I hope you enjoyed and let's get started. All right, hopefully you can see me. I'm back over here now. Um, the first one I looked up was a Chelsea sugar recipe for Anzac biscuits. So I'm just going to use that, but I need to get the ingredients. All right, so I've got my ingredients. The one thing I'm a bit unsure of is it says um, a quarter, oh cool, never mind, I'm all good. It says a quarter cup of the Chelsea sugar golden syrup tin. I thought it was a quarter of the tin and I was like, I do not have that. I do have golden syrup though, um, which I assume is the same as the tin, it's just in a bottle. So this is the recipe that I'm following, but again I'll link it. So this here is all of the ingredients. Thankfully I already had this, which is so strange. So the only thing we actually had to buy was some rolled oats. Um, but yes, luckily we had everything else. Alright, so to start with preheat the oven to 150 on bake, which I have done. Then it says in a medium bowl, I don't know, is this the medium bowl? Sift together the flour and cinnamon and then add rolled oats, coconut, sugar and mix well. Is that both of the sugars? I, uh, I don't know. Okay, I assume that's all the sugar. So, let's get started. One cup of flour. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. One and three quarter cups of rolled oats. We're just gonna guesstimate three quarters. Mm, that looks, looks roughly right. One cup desiccated coconut. And sugars. Oh, it does say sugars. Mix well. So we need half a cup of white sugar and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Oh, you're not sugar. That's so much sugar. And just in case that wasn't enough sugar, let's add some more sugar. More sugar. And mix well. Ooh, sugary, cinnamony, oaty goodness. Okay, I feel like it's mixed enough. So next is the butter, golden syrup and water in a small saucepan and stir over low to medium heat until the butter melts and the mixture is well combined. All right, let's head over to the stove top. More sugar. Alright, I think this is combined enough, so I'm just going to turn the heat off um, and then I also have my baking soda ready, so it was one teaspoon of baking soda, but I'm just going to double check that in case it's not right. Okay, yes, it is definitely one teaspoon. Oh, it's thickening! And now it says to add immediately to the mixture, so let's, let's head over this way and pour this in do a little mixy mixing also fun fact guys this here the rolled oats that i used i think it's pam's i was putting everything away while this was heating and it has a bloody anzac biscuit recipe on the back of it doesn't it 
So I literally could have followed that one. Um, I noticed that the recipe has less sugar, um, which is good. And then it also has, uh, sorry, doesn't have cinnamon. So to be honest, these ones are probably going to taste nicer, but you never really know. All I can say though is it smells delightful. All right, so the next step is to basically roll the mixture into little balls um, and then flatten them. So one to two tablespoons worth of mixture flattened so they're about one centimeter thick so i'm gonna do that i've got a tray ready in line the oven is ready to go so i'm so excited right i have my cookies or biscuits all rolled out it made 12 the recipe says 30 so i think that i've made these like three times the size they're meant to be um, but who doesn't love a nice chunky chewy cookie so I'm gonna put them in the oven it's say 16 to 20 minutes so I might do 20 minutes seeing as they're the bigger um, and then yeah we'll see how they taste one thing I didn't mention earlier is I am going to add something to it I should have really done it with dark chocolate but we're doing it with milk chocolate I thought it would be cool to melt some um, milk chocolate down and then once these have cooled a little bit once they're cooked of course is dunk them in some milk chocolate and let that cool so that way they're like half dunked I think that will be quite nice um so yes let's put these in the oven and get them cooking so the um time has just gone off and they are huge check out the size of these biscuits oh my gosh it smells delicious though let's take them out all right this is how they're looking i did put them in for another five minutes because they just didn't seem like they were quite done so that's 25 minutes um they're a little bit more golden now too so it says just to let them sit for five minutes before transferring them over to a cooling rack right i'm back the lighting is a little bit darker because it just the sun disappears so quickly these days it's just gone six o'clock um so i'm gonna melt some of the chocolate in the microwave the cookies have cooled down and look how huge they are they're massive so i thought instead of dunking them i'll just like drizzle chocolate over the top because yeah they don't need that much chocolate so i think a drizzle will be nice Alright guys, so we're back with the final cookies. They look so, so good. I'm really excited to try one. So I figured I would try one with you guys. Let's just hope I don't get any raw oats on there. Alright. I figured I should <laughs> come a little bit closer for the tasting. Alright, so that's what the cookie looks like. It tastes really good. It's like hard on the outside and super chewy in the middle. Try it's just like staring. <laughs> yeah, because I want to try. Definitely give that a thumbs up. And I think you definitely can do them this size. Just um, bake them for 25 minutes. I definitely like the chocolate like drizzled on top. Mm. I think if it was like fully coated or anything, it would be too much. Yeah, really mm. strong. All right, so I figured I'd show you what it looks like when you break a big one in half. It's kind of hard because it's got the chocolate on top and it hasn't fully set yet, but. I just wanted to show you like how chewy and just like, I don't know if you can really tell, oh, gooey that is, but it's not showing you. But anyway, it's really good. I really like it. I think I'd give this recipe with the chocolate on top, maybe like a nine out of 10. What would you rate it, Trap? I was just gonna say, we've been together for 10 years and you have not made me a cookie like that. Oh, you're saying it's good? Yeah. Well, oh. it's really good. Is this your really favourite nice. cookie I've made in 10 years we've been together? Probably. Well, there you go. Trav's favourite cookies in 10 years. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I can't thumbs it up because I've got cookies in my hands. Make sure to check out the recipe below if you want to try it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a lovely day um, and celebrated and remembered Anzac Day. Um, remember it's in your own ways with your families in any way you could obviously it's a bit difficult during the lockdown um, but I know some people were letting off fireworks this morning I think it was 5 30 or 6 a.m we had fireworks going off I hope you all had a lovely day and I'll see you again soon for another video bye